To say we've spent a decent amount of time with One UI 4 is a bit of an understatement. From covering each beta release of One UI 4 on the Galaxy S21, down to the final OTA release, using One UI 4 has been overall a great experience for us. But that being said, we've noticed some things that we think could be done better. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy new videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn the notifications so you don't miss any new videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here are four things we think One UI 4 needs to do better. Now, RAM Plus was a feature we saw introduced on Beta 2 of One UI 4 when covering the beta program on the Galaxy S21. Let's just go through a quick reminder of what the feature does. One UI 4 basically takes four gigabytes of your internal storage and uses it as virtual RAM when your normal standard system RAM runs out. This in itself is not a bad feature. Look, in fact, we actually welcome it and it makes a bit more sense on Galaxy devices with six gigabytes of RAM or even lower. The problem with RAM Plus in its current state is that you basically have no control how the feature works and behaves. Let's start with number one. Firstly, there is no toggle to disable it altogether. Number two, secondly, you have no option to select how much internal storage you want used as virtual RAM. Let's hope in the next iteration of One UI, maybe One UI 4.1, which we might be making a video on what to expect from it and when it comes. Watch out for that. That hopefully Samsung gives us the level of control we need and want. Hopefully on the Galaxy S22 series in 2022. Video call effects. Yet again, another feature that was previously introduced in One UI 3.1, which was then brilliantly expanded to more apps in One UI 4 beta 2 like WhatsApp and Instagram with not just video, but also pictures, allowing you to blur out the background and use different background effects. However, for whatever reason, in the final version of One UI 4, all those added benefits and expansion of video call effects have been stripped away. Now look, we can't understand why this has been done. As tested in beta 2, it was working great. And let's just clarify one more thing. Video call effects can still be applied to video calling apps, but there is no longer the ability to use it with still images and also the list of apps with video are limited and no longer work on popular apps like WhatsApp and Instagram. And I'm gonna say this one straight as this is my personal favorite feature. Please Samsung, just bring it back. This one is a strange one to even pick and notice because I cannot praise for myself personally how fast and smooth my Galaxy S21 Ultra has been with the final release of One UI 4 compared to the beta. And again, this is not to say that the beta was slow by any means, but the fact that I could actually tell the difference in general speed and navigation is a good look. But just hear the narrative here. That is for me. Here in the team at Sam Mobile, the experience is split down the middle where sometimes some people have actually experienced it to be extremely laggy and it slows down a lot. Now, we can't really pinpoint how and why this is because at the time of this recording, it might just be isolated to the Galaxy S21 series to be an issue and not really a thing with One UI 4. But this inconsistency does need to be fixed. Let's really be honest here. In terms of female and customization, this has been one of the strongest attributes of One UI since the beginning. And based on that alone, even I was pushing back saying we would not be getting material use support and elements on One UI 4. But I was actually wrong, which I'm really glad. Once Beta 2 came into play, we saw the introduction of material U with color theme. Then with Beta 3, it took it a step further with the option of color palette which then changed and matched the default Samsung native apps to the same color theme. Look, I actually like this because at least for me, it made it a lot easier to visually spot the native apps much quicker. Yet, this does not apply to the native Google apps like Gmail and YouTube. Look, here's hoping Samsung will add this 
for native Google support when it comes to their apps very soon. Although great, not all is perfect and the pursuit of pure perfection is near enough impossible as we know. But we hope the four things that we've picked out that needs to be done better on One UI 4 can be addressed sooner rather than later for an even more close to perfect experience on One UI. If you've got the final release version of One UI 4 on your Galaxy S21 series device, let us know your experience with it so far. For the latest news of the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. For the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, and we will see you next time.